this is Roger Norling of the Republic of Free Fencers Guild. Um, I decided to make a short series of basic videos on the optimized water style. So, to begin with, we'll be doing uh, body mechanics uh, with and without stuff. So, here's the beginning. Um, I'll skip this stuff first. Um, you start in a low position, really low, almost 90 degrees, shoulders over your hips. Um, well balanced, slightly weighted forwards, slightly. Leg is almost stretching, uh, extended, foot uh, points roughly 90 degrees. The other foot is straight forward at your opponent. This is the basic stance. So if I start from over the high guard on the left side, I'm leaning slightly backwards like this. As I strike, I extend forward and I shift my weight around and look over my back at my opponent, over my left shoulder. Like this. My arm can actually rotate freely here, like this, in a circle. As I twist around, my leading foot is pointing at 10 o'clock, my rear heel is raised, like this. This liberates my hips and my shoulders. And you'll note the difference between this and this, I can extend more. And now my arm can rotate freely on the other side, like this. So, in a movement combined, it looks like this. This is something you can do at home without the stuff. So, from this direction, it looks like this. Extend forward, and back, and come around. And keep going. falling over as you twist around. Just shift um, down with your weight on your right side, like this. You can't actually fall over to this side. It's nearly impossible. You can fall over on this side. That's how you lose your balance. So as you twist around, just sink low with your right shoulder as you extend forward. This the stuff as well, of course. This is the Kreutz How, the crosscut. And it looks like this. This is the basic stance. Overhoot on the left side. Extend forward to Mittelhoot, Unterhoot, Wechselhoot. From here, press down like this and come back to Overhoot on the right side. Extend forward to Storyhut, Steerhut, Nebenhut, and up. My right hand is barely doing anything in this. Everything comes from my shoulders and my hips. So I can actually just slightly touch back end of my stuff and do the same movement. Like that. <clears throat> As I strike down, I pull the back end into my armpit like this. And my point is aimed right between the eyes of my opponent. Like this. I continue down. As I re release my grip, my shoulder should be above my hand, my hand should touch my knee. Like this. That's a good sense. As I pull back, I have a triangle between the point and my feet. From there, press the back end down. So point the same 45 degrees upwards. And come back to overloads. Stretch forward. And now we have a triangle. From your foot straight up through your body to your hand and down. A triangle. And 
pressed down. You'll notice that my knee is pulled back behind my foot now, which comes natural from this. As I twist my hips around, my knee is pulled back automatically. My right arm, my right hand is at shoulder height, stuffed diagonally over my chest, like this. And the grip is with the index finger on top of the staff. From here I can do many things. I can continue back up, or I can strike. Angles of the torso and the hips is hugely important. I can, nearly, I can see this quite clearly by doing this. I just let my staff rest on my shoulders. My left hand points at about 10 o'clock, 10.30, like this. Right hand at roughly 5 o'clock. Same with the hips. When you compare it to the blue line on the floor here. Like this. As I twist around, the zone hood, the long sword, is that middle hood or neighbor hood with the staff. My left hand now points at 2 o'clock, and I look at my opponent over my left shoulder. Twist around, and my right arm is pointing at 2 o'clock. So they switch place. Going from there to there. And this is the same moment we just did. Like this. And it's the same movement we do a sack or a long sword. I said you were Zona from Zonut. Like this. And you also note that my lead foot, my forward foot, is prepared for a step. As I twist around, my leading foot is now in perfect position for a step, like this. You can do the same thing with a long sword, an okrumpau, followed by a shilhau, or a krumpau with a short edge, followed by a shaitanhau, like this. Same movement, same mechanics. The hips move the same way. Pointing at 2 o'clock and the other hip pointing at 2 o'clock. Like this. Okay. Same thing. Too close? <laughs> okay, I think that's it for today. Thank you.